Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren. I am a mother of four kids under seven years old, and I like to bring moms like you content that I appreciate, which is essentially, how do I be a better parent? How do I be a more focused parent? How can I uncomplicate what is already a really hard job? And so that's what I have for you today. Today we're gonna to be talking about the ways that we can not be the mom or the dad that seems like they're constantly screaming at the kids or pushing them along and ways that we can introduce more play into our parenting. If this is content that you like, please click the subscribe button. And if at the end of this, you like this video, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> All right, let's get into it. Um, so today I want to tell you about my three tips for bringing in more play into your home. Um, I'm in a particular season of life where I've got four kids under seven at home. I am adjusting to being a new stay-at-home homemaking mom. Before this, I did corporate strategy for a really big company. So being at home while it was something that I wanted to be doing, is still an adjustment period for me. And the, <clears throat> what made me good at my job is like being on target and on task and getting things done. And while that's helpful, maybe in the homemaking space and making things happen, even in the homeschooling space, that's not necessarily the best tool for me to pull out of my tool belt when I have a little kid, um, maybe even a two-year-old that needs a little attention, which is the noise that you're hearing right here. So what has been working for me and what I find really helpful is the first step is to essentially just breathe. When you're in a moment, hold first. So when I find myself in a situation where I, I feel like I've got one of two choices, I could like really dig in and make this thing happen and get the kid in the car so that we're on time, or figure out how to get clothes on quickly, or it's always time bound, it feels like, but it's something to do with getting somewhere or getting something done. I feel like I have a choice. I can lean into the playful side that the experts and I personally know works, or I can keep trucking on down the path that I'm on. And while this one might seem more efficient, it gets me from A to B, it's definitely not more joyful. And while it might add a little bit more time, it's, I actually think is even harder. So if we're talking about true efficiency, not just in the time that it takes to get something done, but the effort with which you're putting into it, if you add in a little bit of joy and you go down this path over here, you actually are met with less resistance in getting this done. So the way that I switch my brain from going down the efficient track to going down what is actually gonna be more beneficial in the long run is I just take a breath. So step one is just breathe. Stop and breathe for just a moment and think about what you have going on. Step two, because playing doesn't necessarily come natural to me, I am a very happy person and I am playful when it's time to play, but I do like to get things done. So because playing doesn't come naturally to me, it doesn't occur to me how to make things fun and enjoyable. So what I tend to do, my go-to, hold on please. The second step is to make it talk. So let's say, this is what happened this morning. Let's say you need to put some socks on somebody and it's taking a really long time to get socks on. What you do is you can just slip those socks over your hand and make those socks talk. Those socks really wanna get on that kiddo's feet or the shoe or the pants or the dishes really wanna get put into the sink. Make the thing that you're asking them to do, make it talk. Um, kids love it. It, it, once you like, flex the muscle and you get into it, it becomes a lot easier, but make the thing talk. And I think you'll get some laughter and you'll definitely infuse a little bit more fun and play into the moment. The third step is to just make it a game. So how fast can you get to the car? Can you get to the car going backwards or can you get to the car skipping? I think mom can get to the car faster than you. I think that if we're, if we're picking up dirty laundry off the floor, which is something that, gosh, with four kids under seven, I'm constantly doing, we shoot the laundry into the hamper. Um, if we are taking another real life example, if we have had an accident and our sheets need to be taken downstairs, in our family, you could walk the pea soaked sheets down the stairs 
and have the child kind of upset and sad about it. Or you could just throw the sheets over the stairs. And that's something that kind of makes that moment a little bit more fun. Um, but try some way to make it a game. Getting to the car can be, can we skip to the car? Getting our car, our clothes put away or put in the hamper can be some sort of like basket shooting thing. Now one, one caveat to making it a game is it's not a competition though. Remember, we're trying to make our parenting lives less complicated. What we're not trying to do is further reinforce any natural sibling rivalry that might already happen. So we're not gonna make it a competition um, unless perhaps you're competing with mom or dad. We don't wanna make these things a competition. Which child can get things done faster? Just make it a game, make it something fun. Okay, so those are my three tips to introduce more fun and play into parenting. Uh, again, if you are like me, I'm in a particular season where I find myself kind of barking a little more than I would like to and giving lots of direction a little more than I would like to. So the way that I make it more fun to me so that I have a better day is I just, I introduce a little bit of fun. I first I have to stop and breathe because I have to get in the right mindset for it. And then I will end up making the thing talk or I will end up making whatever it is we're doing a game. So let me know how this works for you guys. If y'all have any tips on any ways that you introduce more fun into your parenting, I would love to hear them. I would love to execute them in my life as well. Um, if you like this content again, please subscribe, please hit the like button and I can't wait to bring you more. Bye. See you next time.